Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to make your own castor oil packs at home. And also I'm gonna be talking about the benefits of castor oil packs and what a castor oil pack even is. Um, I'm going to definitely be gearing more towards the benefits of using castor oil packs in your postpartum period, uh, mainly due to the fact that I'm gonna be in the fourth trimester. Um, here in just a few weeks, I'm 36 weeks along and so Postpartum is right around the corner and so that is definitely in my mind and castor oil packs are a great way to heal after having a baby. So, so I'm excited to get into this. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So what even is a castor oil pack? You may be very much wondering that if you're new to the whole process. Um, or maybe you're not and you can fast forward <laughs> to actually know how to make this. But anyway, um, a castor oil pack I have a very awful way of explaining it, so I'm just going to read um, a perfect explanation of what it is off the internet. But a castor oil pack is the practice of applying castor oil on any part of your body, um, along with a source of heat to aid the castor oil in being absorbed through your skin. It's deeply nourishing and effective, an effective self-healing practice you can do in the comfort of your own home. And since it requires you to lie down and rest while applying, you can get the added benefit of slowing down and soothing your nervous system. The rest is crucial for hormonal, the, that rest is crucial for hormone vitality. So essentially, it's just putting castor oil on your body. And the way I do it is I use a wool cloth to apply the castor oil with, and I put it over my uh, stomach area or my back, and it really has helped with, I think pain management actually after birth which is great but that's essentially what a castor oil pack is you're just applying castor oil also with heat so like I said I use a wool cloth um, to apply the castor oil with so I'll put castor oil all over the cloth I'll put it on my abdomen or wherever I'm applying it and then I will probably I'll put a towel around it so I don't stain the heating pad um, but put a towel over that part and then I put a heating pad over that so that kind of just helps with the absorb uh, helps your skin to absorb it um, so anyway but that's what a castor oil pack is now let's talk about some benefits now I'm like I said before I'm gonna focus more on the postpartum benefits of castor oil packs and what those are essentially is they are really great with healing your womb so um, they can help like just detoxify anything bad they can also really just help to heal what your womb has just gone through and so um, uh, castor oil packs have so many benefits but one of the main ones is that they're it's really good for detoxing and healing scar tissue so if you have scar tissue which having a baby can leave some of that um, <laughs> your womb is all like oh my gosh I'm healing from this major thing and so that's what castor oil packs can really help with. Um, and then, like I said, detoxing. So detoxing your body from anything that is bad in your system. And so it can really help heal your womb. That's the main benefit when using a castor oil pack in your postpartum period is that it's going to help heal your womb. And I think it helps with pain. Um, it's not necessarily scientifically proven, yada, yada, yada. But when I had my daughter, so I have three kids. Well, I have two outside of the womb. This is my third baby. Um, so I've had two other previous births and my daughter is the second child and I did a castor oil pack with her and I did it, I transitioned from back to stomach and it was amazing, you guys. It really helped, I think, with the pain, but it also, I think, helped bring everything back to, or help heal everything after having a baby. And so that is the main, uh, benefit for using castor oil packs in the postpartum period. Castor oil packs also have amazing other benefits. Those include things like organ detoxification, which I already touched on, and fibroids that can actually help with that. I think I'm sounding that out correctly, pronouncing it. But fibroids, it can help with hormonal imbalance. Um, it really can just help almost like balance your body um, and really bring it to a healing process. And so they're really great. Those are the benefits. I kind of went on a little longer than I thought, but anyway. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna talk about how to make it, make your own castor oil pack at home. All right, so how do you make castor oil packs? 
cakes. Well, they're super easy to make. You only need one ingredient and a couple different supplies. So the main ingredient, or the ingredient, essentially is castor oil. So make sure that the castor oil is cold pressed. Um, as you can see, I got the non-GMO cold pressed um, kind. It is not organic, but I get this from Azure. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I believe it was like $8, maybe like closer to $9. Um, and so this I got from Azure, I, it's cold pressed and non-GMO. If you can get non-GMO or organic, that is best um, and make sure it's cold pressed. And so, and even better, if you can get it in a glass jar, I got plastic, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, but yeah, you're gonna need castor oil. You're also going to need wool flannel uh, for this type. You can also get different kinds of fabric that are actually specifically made for castor oil packs. Um, they do sell those. Um, I've never used those, but what I'm using today is just wool flannel. Um, I use a good um, portion of it. You can see the sizing here as shown. And so, um, but yeah, you're gonna need wool flannel and then you're going to need a bowl or something um, to just lay the, the wool on, um, just so it doesn't get all over your counter. Um, and then what the last, the last supply you're gonna need is a jar with a lid. Um, this is just great for keeping it somewhere after you're done. When you're not using it, it's a great place to just put it in a jar and use it later. You can reuse um, castor oil packs for a good like six months. Just don't, uh, just use them for yourself though. I wouldn't recommend using it for someone else because that's just, yeah, I mean, probably not a great idea. So if you're gonna just use it constant over and over, just use it for yourself and not someone else. Um, that will be your pack specifically for your own body. Um, so don't, yeah, don't use it on other people. But anyway, um, so this is where you're gonna store it. And so that's it. So those are all the supplies you're gonna need and ingredients. Now you're going to take that wool flannel that we talked about and you're gonna put it in the bowl. Now, why I put it in the bowl is so that it doesn't get over my all over my counter, but you really don't have to do this step, um, but I just prefer it, less mess. And so then you're gonna take the castor oil and you're going to try you're going to just start drizzling that over the cloth and you're going to really keep drizzling till that cloth is saturated in castor oil what i mean by saturated don't make make sure it's not dripping um with castor oil you don't need to use that much um but just make sure it's saturated so when you touch the cloth your hands should have plenty of castor oil on it um and then over time you can always add more castor oil to it um, but just make sure it's saturated. Don't make, don't let it get super drippy or anything. Um, as you can see from the flannel um, that I've just finished dousing it or saturating it with castor oil, it's really well saturated. Um, sometimes just meshing it a little bit or um, squeezing it. <laughs> you can't, you don't really squeeze it so much, but just kind of clumping it together, kind of making sure that the wool is really absorbing all of the oil um, is a good idea to do and do that over a bowl um, but yeah that's really it so after you're done and it's saturated to the amount you want um, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna fold that and you're gonna put it in your jar now what you so now that your cloth has been saturated with the castor oil you can use it whenever you want or whenever you need to so when you have some time to maybe lay down and relax, go ahead and take it out and you can put it on your abdomen or your back and then you can put a towel, which is what I kind of like, you can either use that or if you don't care if it gets on some of your clothing and you don't have to, you can also use saran wrap um, to just put it over the cloth so that it doesn't get on your clothes. Um, but what I would do is if you're worried about staining, just put saran wrap or a cloth over your wool flannel and then on top and then put a heating pad on top and that's just gonna help your skin absorb the castor oil and so yeah anyway that's really it to making your own castor oil and that's how you to put it on it's super easy there's really no hard way of doing this and like I said you can reuse it constantly um, it should be good for up to like six months to a year it just really depends on how often you use it and um, yeah, and so like I said before, if you feel like you need more castor oil on it, you can always add more castor oil. You can also add it on your stomach, then put the wool flannel on your stomach. I mean, then put, yeah, put castor oil on your stomach or wherever, whatever part of your body you're working on. 
and then you can put the wool flannel over the top and that'll just give you some more castor oil because over time your skin's going to absorb more of the oil and eventually you're going to need more oil to add to the cloth. Um, but yeah, so you can definitely add more oil later on as your cloth gets older and you use it more. And so just make sure that you're always applying heat. This is going to help the process of healing and it's really going to help your skin absorb the oil so anyway but yeah super easy I hope this was helpful and like I said I'd really recommend doing this postpartum although I would recommend doing this with any issues you have that are women's like any kind of um, if you have endometriosis it can help with that it can help with hormonal imbalance and a ton of other different women's health issues um, but I would definitely talk to your doctor or your midwife before using them um, just in case it's always a good idea to ask a professional um, and then if don't take my word for it but study this for yourself go look at castor oil packs they are known to help people with different hormonal problems different um, areas of healing and so I would highly recommend to go check out your for yourself the information out there in castor oil packs but I will also make sure I link um, all of the products I list I talked about today um, those that I can at least find online for you um, the ones uh, most the wool flannel and the castor oil I bought on Azure so you can pick them up there and they're actually relatively cheap other place um, that's good to buy them is on Amazon and so I will link all of those below for you and so anyway I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys in my next video have a great one bye